Fucking years. You put me away for three years. I didn't see my family. Three years they wanted to give me ten, you little prick. I did everything for you and your fucking family. I got your green cards. I let you stay in this goddamn fucking country. Kill him, kill him. I let you stay in the country. Shut the fuck up. Don't say a word. You're driving me nuts. I'm gonna kill him. No, 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 I'm gonna kill you now, and the fucking New Year, next week your fucking family's gonna get killed. Please, please don't shoot me, I'm going to church right now. Me voy para la iglesia, mi familia me está esperando. I'm not gonna kill you. Santa Claus, get over here, you big fuck. Do something right, for once. Kill us, cocksucker! Listen, amigo. No dispare. Santa Claus. No dispare. Merry Christmas. No dispare. Kick this motherfucker. We holding him up. Get the fuck out. Hey, pal. How long have you been Uber? Ah, a couple of months. What the fuck? Dude, dude, this fuck is a fucking Uber, man. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Listen, right. you're right. going to get hit with this bat. No, when are you no. going to buy the fucking bananas? Whoa, whoa, I know what I don't. I, 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 when I, I, are you going to buy? When? Bro, you don't know what I don't give a fuck. You're supposed to buy the fucking produce. The produce. You better buy it. Don't buy the fucking bananas. Listen, shut right. the fuck up. You hear me? All right, all right. All right. Listen, I told you, when you gonna get the fucking by Listen, the road? Listen, my uncle, he's the owner of the business. Uh, okay. I need more time. I'll give you a little more time. Well, 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 a what week. What about that? What, gonna, what is that listen, necessary to hit me with this? Listen, you're hit me with I, 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 if I want to hit you with it, I would have hit you with it. I'll hit him with it. All right? Be quiet, you, before you get hit. All right, all right. All right? So make sure. Listen, I told you, make the fucking shit happen. And what the fuck happens? Happen. You're lucky I'll take your fucking yeah, bed. Yeah, fuck you. I really? Yeah. Fuck you, Luca. You fucking know who I am. I don't give a fuck. Oh, chill the fuck out. You're gonna bleed all over my fucking car, man. Listen, pull over by that porter, Johnny. All right, I gotta take a shit, jerk all off. Make right, it happen. All right, all right. Buddy, you all right, man? Dude! Fuck this shit, man. I'm fucking out of here. Fucking $10 an hour bullshit with fucking Uber, man. Should've went to fucking college, yo. Fuck, you kidding me? This fucking guy left me, I'm gonna wring his fucking neck too. These fucking motherfuckers. Unbelievable. Ah, I gotta get a ride. Fuck.
So tell me, what happened to you? So I'm in this Uber and I'm going downtown and out of nowhere we're at a stop sign and one of Galvon's lackeys, Luca, Luca, that's what his name is, he comes in, he comes in the Uber starts gabbing about produce, produce, buying my produce, you're only gonna buy our produce. And I'm like, produce? I'm not even the produce game, you're looking for my uncle. I'm like, do you know who my uncle is? And he's like, I, I don't care who your uncle is. And I was like, I was trying to de-escalate the situation so I didn't get so confrontational. But he just puts his hands on me, starts hitting me, bashes me in the mouth with a baseball bat. I'm knocked out. I wake up on the side of the road with the Uber driver going crazy next to some porta potty. So I get out of there and I run. Gone. You know, this guy, Gavon, he should change his name to Cafon. <laughs> but more importantly, tell me what happened. I tripped. <laughs> you tripped. It I was, thought maybe you hit him with a left hook or something, you know? It was, I slipped on wet gravel. You slipped on gravel. Yeah. It was wet. Well, it was rainy. It was misty. It was misty. You could have told me you hit him with a left hook. That would have sounded a little better than you fell down. Yeah. You know? uh, we're a realistic family. You know I'm a pacifist. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, all right. I understand, but we'll keep that between us, right? Yeah. Right. If anybody asks you, you gave the guy a left hook with this guy. <laughs> you know. Well, you know, maybe one of his uh, one of his watermelons could maybe have an accident himself. You know, like blow up sometime. Luca's a watermelon. Let me tell you that. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're gonna take care of this watermelon situation, maybe, huh? That big mortadella, Luca. I owe him one. That's all right. We'll take care of both of them. But don't you do anything on your own. Look who's here. Speaking of that. I am actually a star. Your sister. <laughs> Come over here. God, these guys would just leave. Oh, I'm, I'm just leaving. Okay, take it with you. Just take up. Get out. Go. Sophia. Hey, oh. Sonny. Oh. Great to see you. Happy New Year. to see you. Yeah. Oh, you smell so good. Thank you. I'm going to sit down here. Come sure. On. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> so, how you been? I'm better now. I'll tell you now that you're here, but what are you doing here? Well, I'm here to meet my psychic advisor. Here I am. You don't have to go anywhere else. Where is he? Is here? here? Here I am. (laughs) Really? Do you know how to read Lenormand cards? Oh, oh, absolutely. I'll give you a number of readings. Really? You don't even have to say a word. I can give you a couple of readings right now. No, she's seriously going to do a reading on me, and then we're going to end with, like, a cleansing of Reiki healing, because, um, you know, I had a really... Well, she's going to clear my aura. Yeah, I had a really bad year, you know. I heard, I heard. Yes, I got divorced and Vince. It's just, he's just been terrible. Yeah, so you'll you'll see. It'll work out for you. Oh, no. I don't want to work it out with him. Oh, sorry. Forget about that. I just want to move on with my life. That's why I'm going to meet my psychic advisor. She's going to clear my aura, and I'm going to start the year new, brand new. Well, you know, I lost my wife about six years ago, and it wasn't, you know, at first it was very difficult. But time passes, and, you know, life goes on, and, you know, things get better, and I'm, you know, the last couple of years I'm in pretty good shape. I'm and, sorry. Yeah, I was lonely for a long time. But right now I'm not very lonely. <laughs> I do like your aura. It's- I feel like... Uh, I'm young again. Wow, what a statement. Really? <laughs> yeah, beautiful eyes. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Flattery will get you everywhere. Oh, you never know. You never know. Yeah. But listen, more serious note. Although that was serious. I think so. Your brother. Your brother's giving me a hard time. Really? Yeah, you know, I've been in this business, this produce business a long time. Family business. And he... Uh, his ego's getting in the way, and now he's interfering with some of my customers. I'm so sorry. I had no idea about this. No. As a matter of fact, one of his goons beat up my nephew the other day. I'm so sorry. Yeah, he hurt his no shoulder. Idea. He had to go to the hospital, whole deal. Wow. Some guy named Luca. Luca? Luca? Something like that. Yes, I know Luca. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you can help me out with the situation. I don't want to get you involved. Yes. You know, are you involved with this company at all? I feel, yes, I am. I'm working with him. As a matter of fact, we're in negotiations right now for me oh. to get a bigger slice of the place because he's been he's been doing me wrong for quite a while. You know, well, the, 
the 70-30 situation wasn't going to work anymore. Well, maybe you can negotiate uh, a little bit about him minding his own business and staying where he is, you know. Actually, I'll be seeing him at our company Christmas party that we're having late this year, and I'll be sure to talk to him about that. Yeah, you know? pass down my feelings. I'm sure he's aware of what this guy Luca did. Maybe he isn't, but you can make him aware of that. Maybe we can work some compromise out. You know, that's yes. how it was in the old days. Yes. You know? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But now some of these younger people, I think they can just do whatever they want to do. I'll definitely talk to him. I just want you to know that I'm yeah. nothing like him. So if you'd like to start dealing with me, maybe that can happen. I think that might be the best idea. <laughs> I'd love to deal with you in the future. Yeah. <laughs> As a matter of fact, why don't we have a glass of wine? Hi, now? later. Yes, get her a glass of wine. As a matter of fact, get it. Bring us a bottle. Okay? Thank you. Of your best, fresh, white. looking at you we're only kids yes <laughs> ah, those were the days huh you know through all them days he came over here with nothing what he made of himself think about it the business Sophia the business because of this business what we have today you have this I have what I have it could be a team I have a small spot for you in the business dad told me make sure you take care of your sister so speaking of taking care of me, uh, I've been meaning to talk to you about this for a little while now. I want a bigger percentage of the business. First of all, you are not getting a bigger percentage of this business. I want a salary too then. If you get a salary, I want a salary. What do you plan on doing for this salary? Huh? Sis? I'm gonna come to work every day. You know, I can be a very persuasive sales girl, you know? Yes. Hey, Mrs. Miller, how you like our bananas? They're 100% organic. Plus, you can't tell me I can't sell a few watermelons. You know what I mean? It's in my blood. I'm a Gavone. Speaking of blood, I ran into Sonny Valentino the other day. Let me get a little wind of something's going on there. Won't be too much Sonny much longer. He told me that one of your boys, Luca, he, he, he roughed up his nephew. Bloodied him up. Real bad. He wound up in the hospital. You know, you're getting a real bad rap on the streets. Tell him to have his nephew go to the dentist. I knocked out a couple of his chicklets. You know, uh... You're starting to piss a lot of people off in the streets. They're talking about cutting you out. Listen, come by South tonight, will you? Mm-hmm. Have a little get-together, talk a little more. Sal's? Yeah, I'll come to Sal's. Can I bring a date? Come by yourself, Soph. Try being by yourself. Your choice of men. Piss poor. Vince, Sonny, where you headed? I need one more guy to make a true Three Stooges. Oh, yeah. Keep the good work, sis. I'll see you tonight. Really? The Three Stooges? Well, then I'm Mo, and you're Curly. Now get out of here before I slap the shit out of you. Tell Sonny I said hello, huh? Yeah. Tell his nephew make sure he fixes his chicklets in the front of his mouth. Spummer! Took his hair! Tim.
America. 2020. I can't thank you guys enough what took place. We're growing in leaps and bounds. Gavon's Pros. 1932 from Sicily. My grandfather and grandmother exiled from Sicily, Prolamo, to start the business. I know you know. You think it was easy? You kidding me? They came here with nothing in their pocket. You see what they did up there? They started that market with six employees. We have 490 employees in Hunts Point Market right now, and we're exploding that business. Of course, my father gave up his life in this country to make this business. We came here with nothing, and look where we are now. Understand what you say, Sofia. You know, this is our patron, and per ciò dobbiamo lavorare per lui. Lavorando per lui, lavoriamo anche per noi. Capisci? Sì. Ok. Sì, te capisci. Okay. Eh. Sì. You realize human resource? My grandfather would never dream. Human resource, he'd whack you with a stick and tell you work harder. That was the human resource department at Garvo Bros. Now we have a human resource director. Do you believe this? We have company insurance for 490 people. Back in the day, we sent out to Uncle Louie, fix their leg in two minutes. Little this, little that. Little more than Johnny, tend your home. Now we're growing in leaps and bounds. We're making progress. I want to put 20 more trucks on the road. I want to thank each and every one of you. Sis, you know where we're going with this. And I need you behind me. Garbo's Brothers will take over the East Coast. Step by step, go goops, eggplant, mulanja, all the way through the business. You want a Bermuda onion? You're going to get it from Garbo's Brothers. And that's the way it's going to be. Sis, I picked this glass up to you. Of course, I promised Daddy. I said, Dad, I'm going to make this into something you never dreamed of. That's how big we're gonna be. And you see where we're headed with it? We're on top of the mountain. You and I have a lot of words to talk about in a private session. But right now, I wanna thank each and every one of you guys. I didn't get here by myself. I don't plan to move forward by myself. You back me, and I'll back you. Father, I can't thank you enough for the gifts that you've been giving me. You keep doing what you're doing, you'll have the new pews in no time, Father. It's my pleasure. Between Christmas and New Year's, we're going to have a wonderful New Year now. 2020, the vision. Having 2020 in 2020. Salud. Cheers, brother. All right. A familia. Thank you. Let me give you a glass. Last time you blessed me, I had an accident. What the fuck was that? What was it? You tell me. Father. Father. Fuck. Fuck your shot. Your shot. Your shot, Father. No, Father. No. No. No! This can't be right! Oh no! You killed him! They shot him! Get me an ambulance!
New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year. On New Year's Day, you bring a gun to my house! A fucking gun! Kill me. No, I'm not gonna fucking kill you, fuck. A gun! Daddy, is this real? Download the eMusie app from your favorite app store for free musical pets.